Maritas and Christina are both nine. Every day they go to primary school together from their rural village. After school, Maritas plays with her brother and does her homework with her mother, who's a teacher. Christina looks after her three siblings and helps out in the fields. When they're twelve, their lives go in radically different directions. Christina's mother dies, giving birth at home to her fifth child. Her father quickly remarries. Christina is forced to marry a man three times her age. While Maritas goes on to secondary school. Christina gets pregnant at thirteen. And contracts HIV from her violent husband. She's ostracized by her community, but can't escape. When Maritas gets her first boyfriend at sixteen, her mother takes her to the family planning clinic. She receives sex education and contraception. When she finishes school, she trains as a doctor. By this time. Christina already has four children. She struggles to feed them and doesn't have the money to send them to school. Maritas is able to decide for herself. She has three children over the next ten years and is able to go back to work. She's able to contribute to her own family and the wider community. Christina's life could have been like that too, if she'd been able to decide for herself.